Hello and welcome to Season Azo 365 Sport. In this video, we are delving into a topic that is currently generating buzz in South African football, and that is VAR or Video Assistant Referee. It's only been a few weeks since the start of the 2023-24 DSTV Premiership season, and we've already seen several glaringly bad refereeing calls, which have resulted in many people calling for referees to be held accountable and for the implementation of a VAR. Examples of these poor officiating incidents include how Mamelodi Sundowns defeated Morocco Swallows in the MTN8 quarterfinals by a solitary goal from Temba Zwane, which was supposed to have been ruled offside. Few days later, a wrongfully awarded goal in stoppage time handed Swallows a 2-1 league victory over Sikukune United. This was after goalkeeper Badra Ali Sangare was pushed over the goal line while holding the ball by Swallows forward Gabatino Mango. In another incident, TS Galaxy was denied a clear penalty against the Kaiser Chiefs after Sifi Sohlandi handled the ball inside the box. These bad refereeing decisions are just some of the reasons why there's increasing calls for VAR. In an interview with SABC, SAFA Vice President Linda Zwane says FIFA has approved plans by the association to introduce VAR in the country. The digital um, era dictates that uh, we have to move with speed around the issue of VAR, which I know that we are at an advanced stage. We have submitted our things at FIFA and FIFA at the um, gave a green light now what is left is, is for us uh, to do the budgeting and other necessary administrative issues and send it to fifa while it will take some time before the technology is fully implemented safa is taking a step in the right direction here until then let's hope we don't see bad refereeing decisions stealing the headlines from the actual football game now let's explore how var could bring a transformative impact to south african football First up, VAR brings an elevated level of fairness and precision to the game. Those split-second decisions that sway the course of matches can be scrutinized with video technology. Offsides, penalties, red cards, these pivotal moments can be reviewed for a more even playing field. Imagine a pivotal goal disallowed due to an erroneous offside call or an undeserved penalty that alters the game's outcome. VAR acts as the safety net that remedies such game-changing blunders. This preserves the game's integrity and saves teams from being unjustly impacted. Football matches can sometimes pull over with disputes escalating even to altercations. For example, we saw how unhappy Sikukune's technical team and fans were after their loss to Solos. VAR is a remedy for these type of contentious situations. It offers an impartial review that lessens controversies, bringing clarity and assurance to players, coaches, and fans. VAR is like a referee's extra pair of eyes, aiding in better judgment. This technology is not only helpful during matches, but also a valuable training tool for the referees. The result will be enhanced performance for the referees. Implementing VAR won't just be about the mechanics of the game, it will also be a statement about the South African football's global standing. Embracing advanced technology to ensure fairness and accuracy will reflect our dedication as a country to the sport and will enhance our image worldwide. So there you have it. VAR has the potential to reshape South African football in many promising ways. Fairness, accuracy, dispute reduction, enhanced referees and an elevated global image these benefits are unmistakable now what's your take on var do you believe it's the catalyst that south african football needs share your thoughts in the comments below don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell thank you for watching <laughs>